What's going on, guys? For this Master Grade Monday, we're continuing to look at tall geese. Of course, this is not just the normal tall geese that we looked at last week. It is the blue geese. <laughs> or the tall geese 2. <laughs> okay, so it is a tall geese 2. And this is, of course, the P. Bandai version of the original tall geese. This guy came out uh, 24... 2013 somewhere in there and I do remember when these both came out or when this came out because this and Tall Geese 3 came on pre-order at the same time and I wasn't going to pass them up so I ordered them both <laughs> so like, I had this guy and the Tall Geese 3 in my possession and built before I ever got the Tall Geese 1 because that was on back order so that's what's even like more funny about it so uh, of course it's a P Bandai box so you just get a monochrome uh color scheme here and this is a kind of an interesting cg render it looks like of the tall geese too and you know you don't really get any details on the cover but you get the uh, obligatory covered shot of the tall geese name and get all these uh ships in the background because of course this is replicating the scene where uh trey's is taking them into battle uh leading them in this weird thing so you get the master grade mobile suit gundam wing bandai down there you're down here, and of course, it's a P Bandai box, so there's not going to be a whole lot going on. So, you get the front and rear shots once again, and you can see it better, but because it's all blue, you're kind of losing some of the effect there. And can't read any of that, but 3800 again. <laughs> oh, I really wish. No, uh, P Bandai pricing, guys, it sucks. Okay, so you got Gundam info or Gundam.info up here. Of course, all the repeat of the box art come over here. Actually, just a nice, cool. Tall Geese 2. Looks like a very, like, 80s movie title. I kind of like that. It's pretty cool. And then this is exactly the same. And just because, there's just nothing on the bottom. So, alright. That's it for the box. It's P Bandai box. It makes life real easy, guys. Let's go ahead and pull this guy out. Alright guys, now we're going to do something just slightly different this go round because I figured it's kind of easier to show it this way. So this is in fact my Tall Geese display. So you get Tall Geese 1, of course 2, and 3 right there. But I wanted to show it off because it, it just looks cool. <laughs> I figured all three of them just needed to go together. Now of course we're not going to look at the Tall Geese 3 today. We are just going to go ahead and take a look at the 2. But I, I like it just showing off how, you know, how I display these guys. And for the most part, you know, they're just kind of chilling on here. All the tall geese are essentially the same, so they kind of get similar stances. I'm going to go ahead and pull the tall geese to off the stand here. Hopefully carefully. And we will take a closer look at him. All right, guys. <laughs> so now we've got the two kind of out of the display. And uh, I wanted to try to recreate that you know iconic image of him standing there with the gun now i will be honest with you uh i always thought he was holding a giant hammer <laughs> because of the way the way it looks you don't even notice that it's a gun or at least maybe i didn't but i saw it you know when i was you know my late teens somewhere in there and you know what sucks is that either he's standing in a hole <laughs> of some sort or uh, they shorten the barrel of the cannon because you can see here I'm gonna do a little bit of trickery just to get it to something of the right height It almost looks like he's kind of you know chest height So probably even shorter like down here would have been perfect But because the gun doesn't like compact in any way or anything like that. This is really what you get now. I'll go ahead and Fix his arms right quick. Now, of course, this is a little bit of trickery here. Uh, spare stand. And, of course, my old review base. I know it's been a while. Dang it, I'm dropping things. I will say something about this guy. He doesn't want to stand that good. I think the feet are not quite as stable on him for some strange reason. Now, of course, you'll see that essentially this is exactly the same mold as the uh, Tall Geese 1. And, you know, it always was that they, they just, I don't know if he didn't use the exact same tall geese, but I guess they had to have extras and he had the plans. Um, so, you know, Trey's Kushinata wanted to have his own and he wanted to make it a little bit more regal than the original one was. Because, of course, he's royalty or whatever snide crap, you know. <laughs> so I told you, does not want to stand, just falls over. 
It's like he's got no heel support. And I keep popping this stupid ankle armor off. Every time. I'm like, okay, let's let's tilt him forward and see if he manages to fall over backwards. So, I'm gonna just... There. Leave him alone. Okay. Doing great so far. Alright, just right quick. Let's look at the Dover gun, which has already started coming apart. Which is weird. That makes no sense. Um, this is definitely, like, crappier plastic. Or just, I hate this gray. This light gray is terrible. The original one was a nice dark gray and had some dark blues involved. And, you know, of course I added some silver, stuff like that. This is just ugly. Like, just bad. And clearly, I mean, this was the first one I did. So the panel lining is not nearly as good. And some of the gaps are actually really not good either. Like, I don't know what's going on right here. It, it won't push. But it is what it is. The sliding gimmick does still work. And this actually gives a much better shot of how that works. So, yay. But there's definitely less detail to this gun. And overall, there's less detail on this one versus the Tall Geese one. Because being a P. Bandai, they didn't give you normal, like, little marking decals. They give you water slides. And you guys even know at this stage, two years after I built this... I can't do water slides worth of crap. <laughs> now, maybe this is an example of how I need to get back into it and actually, you know, work on it. But, like, say the big sh uh, shield emblem, that's one giant water slide. And now that I have Mark Softer, Mark Setter, stuff like that, maybe I can actually do a good job at this guy. But let's go ahead and take a better look at him, you know, because obviously, major difference, most of the white is gone and is replaced with blue, which is pretty cool. I kind of wish it had the two-tone shield like the original did with the yellow around the outside, but it's just a solid blue is okay. Same thing back here on the boosters. You lose uh, all the white and you gain some blue. Now, one thing that's different on this one, and I'll have to look back in the box for the decals and stuff, but it doesn't have the extra sticker that goes over here. I don't know if it's a water slide or anything like that, or if it just doesn't include that extra detail around the outside of the little uh, booster wing here. But I'll have to go back and check. Now I did do some other painting details inside. As you can see, gave it some gold and silver works there. That actually doesn't look too bad. I mean, I'm just I'm just thinking about. But also, they don't match. Oh man. Old days. This is funny. Let's see what's under here. Let's go under the under booster. Okay. So same gold and silver up under the back skirts so that's pretty cool a little sloppy but it is what it is guys like i said i built this two years ago it's not going to be that great now as i did on the first tall geese i did little details so a little gold poking through there same thing right here i do believe those are supposed to be some other color stickers something like that but i did it with the gold and the same thing on the front of the uh, side skirts like right there so I like how they do still give you a little bit of color separation. So that's not quite white. It's a little bit darker, a little gray. That's kind of cool. Same thing down here on the knees where it would have been yellow on the original one. So that's that's kind of cool. They give you that differential there. You do get the same uh, motion gimmicks where the armor is all attached and looks and moves so nicely. Now let's open up the cockpit. Let's see if I bothered to put a pilot in there yep if you can if you can see way inside there which you probably can't uh there is a little bitty blue trace cushionata figure way back in there let's see if i turn it upside down get some light in there <laughs> i need a pen light make a make a note guys i need a pen light so i can show off things like that all right now there's a major major difference to this guy and, it, and it's kind of a difference that comes with all of the the tall geese. the face and head sculpt so while the helmet mostly stays the same you do get this much more pompadour like uh, crest going on here don't know exactly what his thoughts were it looks like a chicken or a rooster if you catch my drift anyways I do like the fact that they do give you some little uh, red blood tears kind of coming down the front of the face there. Now, something I did not show off last time. Go ahead and pull the face off. 
that's how you can remove the head and then you basically you almost have a little leo head inside there so you even get a little reflective mirror as would be the main visor for that so realistically what they're saying is that this is crap <laughs> i'm just kidding but i think no it wouldn't quite be wide enough but they they almost would give you some light piping like right through there and you see that the eyes the back of it is clear plastic so if you had a green led you could totally probably rework that system there and give them some cool light up eyes now i did get i can't tell if that's shaded or if i actually got silver paint inside the vent there it's kind of hard to see and i also surprised to see i didn't do any silver paint there once again this was the first one i built i built this one then i built three and then i built one but that's not the order we're going in here so i'm gonna go ahead and set him right here if he'll stand on his own, which I think we've already proven that he won't. And these stupid ankle armors. If I do actually end up uh, putting the water slides and everything on this guy, I'm going to glue those ankle armors on. Now, if you give me just a second, bring in the tall geese one for comparison. Now, of course, by this point in the series, uh, the original tall geese had already been destroyed. And obviously, Trace wanted to keep that going, so he made himself his own tall geese. So that's why we get the tall geese too. And that's why it's obviously so very different. These are Trey's colors. These are the colors that tall geese came in. But I just wanted to show off the comparison so you really see the details that get lost. Like anything that was yellow on here for the most part is like a very super light gray. So while it almost shows up white right there, it is actually super light. Same thing down here. And then the darker blues and the frames and stuff like that ended up turning into this just pale gray, which is ugly, in my opinion. Now, is this was this worth the money? As a com as a completionist, yes. But, and I say but because there are places you can still buy these, kind of secondhand. But they did a re-release not long ago. Um, stupid expensive for what it is. I think they wanted like a hundred some odd dollars, and you guys saw it's only thirty eight hundred yen to begin with. So it's ridiculous how. Uh, at least here in America, the retailers just absolutely kill you on P Bandai pricing. If you're a completionist and you have to have every version of every suit, and I know certain things like Zaku's, uh, not Justice, but other other things from Unicorn and stuff like that, that all have to have. Or the Jagans. There it is. I knew it was in there. So if you have to get like all the versions of the Jagans, which mind you, there was a new Echoes version that was uh announced i just realized that this was coming off i just looked at it like why is that like that that's funny but yeah if you got to have all the versions of things especially with such an iconic kit like tall geese and the fact that uh it got upgraded as it went you know i mean it's not a giant like performance upgrade or anything not like um later on with the tall geese 3 where he definitely definitely gets some upgrades but at least in this case why is it the barrel is all jacked up. <laughs> okay, so, like I said, uh, being this being the original kit and this being the one that came after it, it's, it's cr kind of crap that it doesn't look anywhere near as good. I wish they had given you all the marking stickers. Now, once again, I will say, I need to double check in the box and see. Because if they gave us the normal marking stickers like these things, then, you know, as normal decals, then I'll probably put those on there. As for all the extra... Um, Water slides, we'll see. I kind of like using this as a pointer. So this, 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 and this is different. <laughs> but uh, the, honestly, this kit is not a bad kit by any means. So the Tall Geese as a, as, a, as a general MG is actually a very good one. I would definitely recommend buying the normal one if you can get it and you don't. Uh, and I also wish they had expansion kits because the only true difference between this one and that one is color and this head. Which is only just that piece I pulled off. Everything else is identical. So there's no reason that they couldn't just do that, you know? Now, one thing I didn't get to show off last time is how the gun attaches. So you get these little little ball joint peg right there. And it does go on this scarily thin little ball joint mount right here. Ugh, tuck that right in there. And I'll just show it's got... So it can pivot. It can do all kinds of things right here. But then it does have a hinge joint there. It has kind of a universal joint here because it's a hinge on one side and a ball joint mount 
on the other. And these are all very stiff. And if you've ever heard anything bad about the plastics on wing kits, they are all true. <laughs> oh, man. But it does allow you to get some interesting positions sometimes. Other times, it's just a pain in the butt to get moved and maneuvered. It's like they gave it just enough room, but otherwise it's crap. Because you can totally hang it out over here. It needs another hinge up here. I'm sorry, it just needs something on that top part. Because you can do a few different things with it. You can even hang it out by itself, no problem. Or if he doesn't want to hold it at all, you have to use beam sabers, something like that. You can just kind of tuck the gun kind of to the back, like so, or more like that. And just back the way it's supposed to be. And so once again, that's kind of a handle, but this is the other one. But where you have the hands that can slide inside here, it doesn't necessarily work on this section. So it is what it is, guys. But I think that's going to be it for the Tall Geese review. I'm not going to bother showing you off the articulation. All that is exactly the same. So I guess I did. Looks like I did a little bit of detailing right inside the shoulder joint. Nice. This is probably one of those ones where I did a lot of uh, internal uh, details before I found out that you wouldn't see them. <laughs> How many other people run into that problem? You detail all kinds of things and then you end up covering it up and don't even realize it. You know, when you started it out. Oh, one thing I guess I did. I detailed the inside of the shield. I just noticed that. So a little bit of red dots and some gold. That's that's kind of fun. Some minutes later. It's been a while since I messed with this. I really, I, you know, I said I was going to go like a long time ago. But that's that's just what I do. I, I, I get into playing with it and I totally forget. Nope, nope not finishing that sentence. Alright guys, that's it. Tall Geese is done. Done. Imagine there's a beam saber right there, okay? All right, so that's it for this. Thanks for watching this Master Grade Monday with the next of the line of the tall geeses. Tall, yeah, tall geese is already plural. Anyways, <laughs> so the tall geese two and all of it's not quite as good as its predecessor. Glory, that sort of robs it, doesn't it? All right, so make sure you check out all the other Master Grade Mondays and stick around because the obvious is happening next week. We're totally not doing tall geese three. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We are actually doing Tall Geese 3 next week. And I honestly really like the Tall Geese 3. I thought it was a great design. Uh, what I did to it, we'll see what happens. So I'll talk to you guys next time. Make sure you stick around. And remember, as always, keep on building.